He's having one of his worst. cars was yeah. like a virtue badge. <laughs> like my friend made fun of me because yeah. I had a Tesla. Remember? And I was like, dude, I don't give a f what you say. If you get in this car, it'll change your mind. Remember that South Park episode with the Prius? Remember I don't. That? I oh, didn't see that one. Thank you. There was a whole episode about you know, people of South Park buying Priuses and feeling incredibly super self-righteous. It was fantastic. <laughs> it, was, it was almost as good as their, their, their smacking it in San Diego. Bro, bit. it yeah. is a thing in California. It is a real thing that some of my liberal friends... I know what you're doing, you fucks. You're mm. waving a flag. That's not even a good car. You don't even like the way it looks. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah Get out of here with that fucking but, stupid thing. But now he's now. Yeah, you're right. Now he's a, now he's a Nazi. And, See, uh, but the yeah. Tesla thing made sense to me. I'm like, okay, when you drive one of those things, mm -hmm. you, you get both things. You get to feel like you're better because I'm out here doing something <laughs> amazing for the environment, and then also you get a fucking time machine. That thing moves like a time machine. Yeah. By the way, yeah. China has the most advanced electric car suspension that I've ever even heard of. It's so good that you could drive over speed bumps and you could have glasses balance on the hood. Well, that sounds like that old Saturday Night Live skit where they said the ride was so smooth in the Lincoln you could conduct a uh, circumcision in the back. So they had a... <laughs> <laughs> they, had that, they had a rabbi in the back of a Lincoln doing a <laughs> circumcision to show how smooth the trans the, the uh, suspension was. Well, this makes that look like a motorbike, <laughs> like like a motocross bike. Holy it's shit! Like these things go over everything and they stay flat. They don't feel anything. God. The car just stays flat as it's riding over all these bumps. It's nuts. And if you see how it works, like all the different things that are moving around inside of it, all the machinery that they've developed mm -hmm. to have this insane suspension, it's crazy. Wow. China is like really innovating right now in the field of electric cars. In the yeah. field of cars, period. But their electric cars have made massive leaps. Because just a few years ago, I think Elon dismissed a lot of their electric cars, but now he's like, no, 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 these are yeah. like really legitimate, and they've got they've got their version of a Rolls Royce that's like a million dollars, and you can't even get it. Yeah, have you seen these Chinese yeah. Rolls Royces? They're insane. Yeah, and they've also and and part of that is because they've been strategic about locking up. Uh, critical minerals right overseas in terms of you know getting in there working with countries to lock up that market and, mm. and also to dominate completely the refining side of things right they've got the confidence in knowing you know where they where they can take this and so this is like okay we can dominate the ev market you know because we've done the, the we've done the hard work ahead Look of time at this thing wow this is their the chinese version of a rolls royce and it's supposed to be sick like you get inside of you like oh my god this car's incredible but you can't even get them in america yeah I like my Jeep Grand Wagoneer better. Jeep Grand Wagoneers are great, but I would drive this dope-ass Chinese luxury sled. This thing looks insane.